Oh, hey. Oh, what am I drinking? Oh, this is Anti-Gravity Lager by Flying Monkeys. Why am I drinking it? Because we're playing Journeyman Project 3 Legacy of Time. And like the beer it brought, it's notoriously mediocre. Hey everybody, I'm Phil. Welcome back to another round. We are about to get our friggin' piece of the legacy. We become the beggar. We talk to this beautiful man. Padros. I'm glad to see they they agreed to send you. I'm glad to see that you know, seeing Wind you is again nicely. brings back the, the good times we had during initiate training. I remember. That Those is college true. guys that we got drunk with. And well, I... You can admit you I wish liked I'd it. had the courage back then to stand with you instead of biting my tongue and grudgingly accepting the Templar's insular views. It's too easy. It's too easy. I can't. I can't. I was a coward. Don't cry, man. It's okay. Oh, I thought it said, like, insult something. Yes, their views were very... Uh, insular. They yes. were strong yet gentle. And you were absolutely right. The Galith does not belong to the Templars. It was meant for everyone. What right do they have to determine who should or shouldn't receive its its healing grace? And despite great risk to yourself, you stood by your beliefs, even though it would mean at the very least giving up an opportunity you had waited your entire lifetime for. Oh, no, I just sort of zoned out, and then it just happened. I'm also blind, so that helped. Opportunity? The opportunity to commune with the Galith. Oh, we commune. To find out if you were we worthy like of rabbits. its most precious gift. Eternal life. But now you shall have your chance. I will not stand in your way. I hereby renounce my title of Guardian Templar. I haven't the stomach for it. So we're the Guardian Templar? But before I go... Yeah. You will need this. Is that a CD? It will no longer serve me. I don't really, you know, iPods and stuff. I don't, uh... What, uh, what do you do with all your free time? What will you do now? When I became a Templar initiate, I truly believed the Order was my life's calling. You can just say two women at the but same time. I now time. realize that I cannot do just the world it. a service by sequestering the Gaelith from those in need. I have been given a gift, and it's time I use it. I can help others, share with them the teachings of the Earth Mother. Her blessings were meant for all. Mm -hmm. Your courage has helped me to see this and now I must call upon my own to find my way good luck my friend you too I only know him through a friend we're not like we're not like buddies what do we have here what's up that small wheel with the handle on the right looks like it adjusts the clock it's average at most, Arthur. It looks like there's a gear missing between that crank and the big calendar wheel. Maybe that's so the kids don't advance it to their birthday. You mean this? Oh, it worked! Was that no good? We're missing something. To put it metaphorically, we've set the alarm clock to the right time, but the alarm clock isn't going off. Did we forget? Do not tell me we have to backtrack somewhere. Did you wind the clock? I'm speaking metaphorically again. Gage, this is a special calendar clock, a water clock driven by the water from the upper temple reservoir, oh. which is pumped from the canals by the windmill. You're kidding me. We have to turn the water back on? If you recall, you closed the floodgates at the upper temple in order to stop the flow of water underneath the windmill. That water must have powered the clock. If you open the gate again, the flooding water will probably restart the clock. 
Well, if this truly is the end, at least we get to see at the ferryman one last time. Steven. It's not his real name, but I can't remember his real name. So to, to me and Arthur, he's Steven. But that's just as far as his name goes. To me and Arthur, he's more than just you know, the ferryman Steven. He's, he's special. Someone we can really, you know, talk to and, you know, and hug when we're sad and cuddle with when we're cold. I mean, Steven's just one of the, how the fuck did we get out of here? This was a dead end, I thought. Oh, it's open now. My God, this is it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it good. Oh, we don't get to see Steven again. Let, you know what? Before we do it, let's go back, see Steven really quick. Just uh, share a classic Steven moment, and then we'll end it. Let's go back now. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Anyway, here we go. We're starting up the water. We're gonna get that piece of legacy. Finally. <gasps> oh, damn. Looks like your water clock repair correspondence class has finally paid off. Oh my god, we got it. Cutscene. I can feel some sickly energy flowing from you. Show me what you have found. This object was sheltered in one of the temples. Could it be the legacy? Yes, this is a relic of the elders. It bears the mark. The other inscriptions are, are very complex. I will attempt to translate, but my knowledge of Sosiqui is limited. We discovered long ago that several One old of Earth three languages were actually primitive dialects of, so of the Sosiqui legacy. This is only a part of the true legacy. Obviously. The inscriptions speak of three vessels piously guarded that hold the powers of the legacy. This is only one, but... Gage has given us hope. Did you find objects like this in the other two temples? No. I haven't searched them completely yet. I haven't searched them at all yet. I briefed the World Senate on what's been going on. They lifted the suspension and have given us full sanction to search for the legacy. Party, party! You must understand, Ambassador Yosala. TSA protocol requires that only agents stay in the command room. I understand, Commissioner Baldwin. If you need our what assistance, are you, you need but to ask. You're ruining your I chances with her. I will all my energies to slowing the advance of the Quotha loss. I know he's into that. Don, I want you to pour over every molecule of this thing and run these inscriptions to our language database. We need information. I'm going to need someone knowledgeable to help me analyze this. Not to question your judgment, sir, but you just kicked that someone out. I need to know who I can count on in a crisis. The only people I can fully trust are my agents. Bring Michelle back. She's an expert linguist and historian. She agent Free? It. She's a criminal. What's worse, a traitor. She captured and imprisoned you, remember? God damn it, no, sir, don't. she's hot. That memory was erased. As a time traveler, I haven't had sex in a very long give time. Us this chance. Put her under house arrest. Do whatever you have to do, but bring her back. We need her. I can't do this alone. Very well. I'll release her. But if she slips up once, she's history. I think she might surprise you. I think she might surprise we'll be back us when all. I find another of the artifacts. Damn, that would have been awesome if that was the line. You should know. The Catholics have entered Symbiotry space. They are ignoring all other planets and continuing towards Earth. It is doubtful the symbiotry defenses will slow them. Time is now our enemy. I... 
didn't understand a word you just said, sir, but... Nod. Nod. What's up, Arthur? How'd we do? Now I'm sure you're the only employee here. You're like a night watchman named Pops who comes around once in a while with a big ring of keys to make sure all the shiny metal things here still beep and look pretty. Thank, thank you? No one here to send us off again. It's not like I'm asking for a big goodbye party or anything, but a little appreciation would be nice. We're risking our necks here at... What? You got a get back soon card from Agent 3? No. Huh? Well, whoop de doo Mr. Popular. Oh, I got something else from Agent 3. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but I got a cream for that, so it's... It's gone. Well, it's pretty much gone. Almost. Mostly. 